There's one part of programming that I really hate. And every time I have to do it, I always Google for an answer, then I copy and paste what I find, and then cross my fingers and hope and pray that it works. Luckily, I don't have to do it very often. What am I talking about? Regular expressions. If you're not familiar with what regular expressions are, um, good for you. But unfortunately, you will eventually come across them because they are a necessary evil. And um, saying that they're evil is actually not good. They're awesome. Regular expressions are amazing. But unless you have a PhD in regular regular expressions, you don't use them very often. You use them just not often enough to not always remember how the heck to use them. So they're a pretty powerful tool for matching text patterns and manipulating text. They actually can save you a lot of time and effort by allowing you to perform complex text processing tasks with a single concise expression. It could be like this or it could be like this. Don't don't say it in the comments. I know what you're thinking. Look, one of the most common tasks I do when I use regular expressions is I open up VS Code and I use the search field and it has a regular expression search in there. I do search and replace using regular expressions. I transform text files. So yeah, I know the basics of regular expressions. There's rules, okay? There's basic stuff like line starts with a caret and ends with a dollar sign. The star character matches any character, any number of characters, right? I think. The period matches one single character. I also know about groups, although sometimes I have to look those up. But the stuff that I do, manipulating text files, is different than adding a complex validation rule for matching an email address in a web form, for example. If you can write an email matching regex from scratch, congratulations, you're probably like one of 10 people on the planet who can do it. The rest of us mortals have to copy and paste and maybe edit slightly. Now, about two months ago, I found a really awesome AI tool to write regular expressions based on GPT-3. I made a whole video about it. I tried it, I demonstrated how to use it, and I really wanted to highlight this project by an indie developer, uh, but it's a video that I won't publish for reasons that will become clear shortly. Something big happened in the last couple of months. Well, you know what? Let me show you some clips out of this video so you're at least familiar with what I'm talking about. This guy built a quick app, a quick app that uses GPT-3 to convert from English to regular expressions. Whoever this guy is, Aria, high school craftsman. Good job. You go to autoregex.xyz and it converts English to regex. <laughs> Here's an example I made, uh, a person's name. Now, I don't know how it's gonna figure out a person's name. People's names are very different. You can have a middle name, a first name, a last name, and maybe switched around. It matters what language you're using, right? But this is what it's given me as the result. So what happened recently? Why I'm not publishing this video? Well, we got something called ChatGPT, and ChatGPT is supposed to make things like this obsolete. But there have been some complaints about ChatGPT and the fact that it doesn't produce valid results. So here I got ChatGPT. I've got a form here. I'm gonna see what can do for us. First field is a name field. All right, generate a regular expression to validate a person's name. So it's doing it, by the way, it's really slow now. The way they prints it out, they've really slowed it down. I think because too many people were pounding at it. Now I have to wait until the whole thing prints out. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> how quickly we get uh, desensitized to amazing tools. So look at this, it gives you the regular expression, but not only that, it explains everything. It explains that this will match this name, Mary Ann O'Connor and Jose Garcia, but it won't match names with numbers or special characters. So Elon Musk's kid, sorry, you can't use our form. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's probably not the last time you run into this issue. I like that copy code button. Uh, has that always been there? I don't know, but let's put this in here. There's the pattern for our input. Must be five characters or more. So I forgot that the name should be five characters or more. I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to augment the uh, regex, and I'm not even gonna write out regular expression. I'm just gonna call it regex, to allow only a minimum of uh, five characters. <laughs> and it explains how it augmented <laughs> and uh, what rule it used to augment uh, the previous regular expression. So this teaches you regular expressions on top of just giving you the answer. I know, we've already seen a ton of ChatGPT amazing videos. I'm still amazed and I'm still learning new things about this thing. Okay, five characters are good. Let's just give it my name and see if that works. That does work. I don't see that at the end, it's giving me an error if I add a space at the end, which is something that'll have to be tweaked, right? So this is what I'm talking about. The regular expression is not perfect. You need to tweak it. Also allow white 
white space around the uh, name. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so it also allows optional white space at the beginning and end of the string. Let's copy that and put it in here. Oh boy, CodePen wants me to log in. No. Yep. That works. White space is allowed. Of course, you're going to need to trim that in your code, but that's really freaking cool. So I just learned how to do the regex for a name, how to add the repetition quantifier, which is this right here, and then how to add white space, which is this around the beginning and the end. Here it is in the beginning. Here it is at the end. I'm learning new regex rules from ChatGPT. This is the power. This is just crazy. Okay, now I need an a regex for an email address. This one should be pretty easy. Yeah, don't ask me to write that out. Probably I won't figure that out myself or it'll take me a really long time. There's the regex and the explanation. If you care to read it, I'm going to copy that out and paste that right in the pattern field here. Let's do a this is not a valid email address. That is true. And neither is this. Oh, this is there we go. Yeah, I mean, so cool. <laughs> <laughs> and we can do the same thing with a phone number and website, you can imagine. So this is why the previous tool I showed you, while a really cool project, is already obsolete, as so many other things are already obsolete this year uh, when ChatGPT came out. It's sad and happy at the same time. Hope you found this video useful or enjoyable or entertaining. I'd appreciate a thumbs up. The YouTube algorithm really uh, looks at those. So help me out, and I thank you for that. And consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll be back.